Hello everyone. Um, it's been a few days since I posted anything, so I was thinking of some ideas, and while I did think of those ideas, I realized that I was picking my skin really, really badly. Um, I have better photos to show you later, um, but uh, I thought, you know what, like, this is something that affects my life, um, so why not vlog about it? Why not have a sit down, uh, educational, this is what, you know, happens and these are the consequences and, um, you know, how do I, how do I figure out how to stop what I'm about to talk about? So what I'm about to talk about is a skin picking disorder. So. I will advise you that um, the topic is kind of gross. Um, I will be showing photos that are um, of my fingers that aren't pretty. Um, so this may not be a work appropriate video, although I am hoping to educate um, everybody on sort of why this happens, who does it, um, you know, and what can be done to help stop it, uh, which is, I think, the most important part. So, um, I noticed that I have a lot of glare on my glasses. Um, should I wear them or not? Because I do have to read some stuff, so I'll leave them on and redo the video if uh, if I have to. <laughs> um, so, um, a skin picking disorder, um, also known as dermatillomania, is characterized by the picking of one's own skin. Uh, you're going to see me refer to the side of the camera. I've written some stuff down just to make sure that uh, I have the information correct and that it comes from a source, not just from somebody who does it, but from people who um, diagnose and treat and put people into remission over it. So um, people with this disorder, they touch, they rub, they scratch, they pick, or they dig into their skin um, in an attempt to improve perceived imperfections. So some people, um, and I'll get into a little bit later, do it because, you know, they see a little spot that they can pick or um, they are uh, unhappy with the way that it looks and they think that they can change it by removing skin. Um, it can happen anywhere uh, in the body. It can happen on the fingers. It can happen on the toes. Um, people have been known to pick their faces really bad. Um, usually that's uh, a sign of drug use though, um, because they have, um, what's called tactile hallucinations, um, and, uh, the feeling of like bugs or stuff crawling out of your skin, um, makes people scratch. So that's a reason that, uh, people would scratch at their faces. I also, uh, pick at my lips a lot. Um, I pull the skin off my lips and I... Um, also pick up the skin of my toes, um, but the worst is definitely my, my nails. Um, so people who, um, do skin picking, often, um, the result is, uh, tissue damage, discoloration, or scarring. Um, skin picking is one of a group of behaviors known as body focused repetitive behaviors um, in which individuals will pull pick scrape bite their own skin hair nails and it always usually results to damage in the body um, occasionally picking at cuticles or scabs or acne or calluses um, those are very common human behaviors. Um, it's a way to groom yourself uh, that goes back to, you know, when we were Neanderthals. Um, but about 2% to 5% of that population 
picks their skin to the extent that it causes noticeable damage, tissue damage, um, and mark distress, and sometimes impairment of daily functioning. 75% um, of people who do these behaviors are female. Um, it usually begins in early adolescence, and with uh, without treatment, skin picking uh, tends to be a chronic disorder that can wax and wane over time, um, depending on what's going on um, in your life. Um, it's currently uh, classified as an obsessive compulsive and related disorder in the DSM-5, and the criteria include uh, recurrent skin picking that results in skin lesions, repeatedly uh, attempting to stop the behavior. Um, symptoms cause clinically significant distress or impairment. Um, symptoms are not caused by substance use, except for the meth skin picking that I talked about, um, or medical or dermatological uh, condition. Symptoms are, are not better explained by another psychiatric disorder. Um, so those who pick skin tend to pick from multiple um, sites for extended periods of time. Um, these experiences um, that lead to picking include, um, sorry, experiences that lead to um, picking include uh, an urge or physical, physical tension prior to picking, um, um, an unpleasant emotion uh, that you're dealing with, um, a sensation such as a bump, sore, or spot. Um, so if I have like a little tiny piece of skin sticking out, I have to pick it. Like I don't have a choice. Um, so experiences post picking um, include urge reduction, uh, sense of relief or pleasure, uh, psychosocial, psychosocial difficulties, um, embarrassment, avoidance of, of crowds and people, um, reduced productivity, emotional issues such as anxiety, depression, uh, physical issues such as skin infections, scars, lesions, and potential disfigurements depending on where you're picking. Um, I have actually changed the um, fingerprint of my thumb um, from picking and uh, it's brutal like it's uh it's horrible like there's like indents and it's just bad i that's my my main finger that i pick is usually my right thumb then my left thumb and then i kind of work on my middle fingers <laughs> and then um my baby fingers and then the two other fingers are last um don't ask me why it's just the type of routine that i have when i when i start to pick um, the severity varies greatly. Um, many people who struggle with skin picking exhibit noticeable skin damage, um, with attempts to cover it up either, um, with makeup or clothing, um, or other means of concealing the affected areas. Um, due to shame and embarrassment, individuals may also, um, engage in avoidance behaviors including um, the avoidance of certain situations that may lead to them feeling vulnerable or being um, discovered. So, you know, winter is a good time for for the people that pick because we get to wear gloves. So it's, uh, it's kind of um, interesting in that regard that, you know, you look forward to a season because you get to put gloves on and people don't need to see your fingers. P.S. Cheers. Um, the impact that it has on people, um, shame, embarrassment, and avoidance of social activities, um, as well as avoidance of medical care, which can be, um, pretty important if you're, um, if you're getting an infection in your fingers, because that could lead to, there's lots of little joints and little bones in your fingers, um, it can lead to infection, and, um, it can lead to bone infections as well, so, um, it's really important, um, even though it's really embarrassing and people think that they're the only ones out there um, that you see a physician about it because he can set you up with therapy and whatnot. 
Um, it can lead to painful isolation, emotional distress, and like I said, mood and anxiety disorders. Um, sometimes, um, you know, like I said, the medical implications are infections, open wounds, scarring, disfigurement, scabbing. Um, it is not indicative of deeper issues or trauma like most mental health um, diagnoses, I would say. Um, and it's not classified as self-harm or self-mutilation. Um, it's going to fall under the category of OCD, right? So, so now that I've bored you with the, um, the science of it, <laughs> um, I will, um, I am going to show you photos right now. So please, uh, remind yourself they're not that bad, uh, I have to say. Um, but some people do get a little queasy even with the littlest of, of things. So this is my, um, my bad fingers right now. Um, and after I show you the photos, I will explain to you, um, why, uh, I think I pick and what I'm doing to help stop it. So here are some photos. Okay, so not that bad. Um, they've been worse. I've actually been on antibiotics before for picking them and making them infected. Um, so why do I pick? <laughs> I had a hard time with this question to myself. Um, I think the number one thing is anxiety. I, um... I don't know if I'm anxious, I just automatically go to this. Like, this is what I will stand there and do if I'm anxious. Um, if it feels pickable, like if I can get a little tiny corner and pull it and make it bigger and then there's more corners, I will continue to, to, put, to pick that way. Um, sometimes I don't even know I'm doing it. Um, and it seems that... It's something that I'm almost, I don't want to say like in a trance, but I have no clue that I'm even near my fingers until my mom whacks me. <laughs> and it's like a, an elastic band that you keep on your wrist when you do something negative, right? It's that, that negative reinforcement or negative to positive reinforcement. Um, but yeah, I, um, I'm trying to use harm reduction because I know, and I know this sounds maybe like... Um, sad but I know that I will never not pick it's something that I use to cope and um I like I said I pick my my nails my toes um my lips and I also pull my hair um when things are really 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 bad so right now I've been wearing a bandana because I have some spots here that are balding-ish, and the hair is growing back, um, uh, so that's good, uh, the fact that it's growing back. And then as soon as it's long enough, I'm going to get it braided again, because that seemed to be the healthiest for my hair. Um, yeah. Um, the only thing that helps me, this sounds really weird, um, but for my fingers is to wear false nails. So because the false nails are thick, they can't get under the skin. They just kind of make like a scraping more than anything else. And um, I'm not able to pick. And I actually, the urge to uh, pick when I have nails on diminishes greatly. Um, I hardly even know that they're on. So, um, I wish I could wear fake nails all the time, but as you know, we are going through a quarantine and getting nails done is not 
an essential service. Um, the other way that I deal with it is I get band-aids specifically made for fingers, um, but because I haven't been out in the house, out of the house to a pharmacy for a little bit, I wasn't able to look for those, but I do have to run home to see the cats tomorrow, so I will be um, stopping at the pharmacy to check my, if they have any band-aids. Um, yeah, so, so that's, that's, um, that is dermotillomania in a nutshell. I will write it at the bottom um, so you guys know. Look, at I so I have like, I don't know if you guys can even see, but no, you can't. There's like a little piece of skin right on my lip. Mm. And yeah, and now it's gone because I just bit it off. See, it's, yeah, it's gone. Um, but I know that now that there's like a little thing, I will pick at that until it's like raw um, and then I have to use like an intensive lip cream to fix them because they get dry and cracked and really disgusting because I'm taking off all the protective layers right so um, so yeah so that's that's that in a nutshell um, I hope you enjoyed the video I hope it was a little bit um, instructional I will one day talk about it with my therapist but with everything else going on it's kind of on the back burner um but if it gets worse um i don't i don't know what i'll do because right now it's like right at that like level of being like okay and then not okay right so it's very important to keep track of that it's hard. It's hard when there's a lot of stuff going on and, you know, you can't, uh, can't necessarily control it. So anyway, I, um, I'm going to sign off and if you guys have any questions, please don't hesitate to ask or put in the, um, comment section below, or you can always, um, direct message me, uh, and I will get back to you if you don't want to put it on the main, um, on the main video, because I, I can appreciate that. So, cheers to everybody. Cheers to Saturday night making videos. I'm planning on making three videos tonight, so this is number one, and this is all I'm gonna have because I'll have to play around with my blood thinner medication now because I've had a drink. Um, I'm not a big fan of wine. Wine tends to make my eyes, like, close, which they do a lot anyway. Um, but it makes my eyes tired, but not my body, which is really weird. So, anyway. I hope you guys had a great Saturday. I hope it was relaxing, and I hope you were able to spend time uh, doing what you need to do so that you're starting to prepare for next week. And uh, we'll see how things go. Alright guys, have a good one. Bye.